Hi friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Train. Today we are going to uh, discuss some multiple choice questions which is mostly related to vitamins. Let's see. Who discovered vitamin? Options are option A. Cassie Mirfunk. Option B. Anthony Lavoisier. Option C. Sumner. And option D. Anselmi Payne. And the answer is option A. Casimir Funk. In 1912, Casimir Funk originally coined the term vitamin. And he is also known as the father of vitamins. He coined the term vitamin. And who is Anthony Lavoisier? Anthony Lavoisier is known as the father of nutrition. He is known as the father of nutrition. Then Sapna. Sapna is known as the father of modern enzymology. He, Sapna is known as the father of modern enzymology. And who is this Anselmi Payan? This Anselmi Payan is the one who discovered enzyme for the first time. Next one is, which of one of the following vitamins dissolves in water? Which one of the following vitamins dissolves in water? Option A, vitamin D. Option B, retinol. Option C, thiamine. And option D, vitamin K. The answer is, option C, thiamine. Option C, thiamine. Thiamine is vitamin B1. Actually, the vitamin B group vitamin and vitamin C are the water soluble vitamins. And the rest, vitamin A, D, E, and K are fat soluble vitamins. Here, vitamin D is fat soluble, and retinol is nothing but vitamin A, and vitamin K is also fat soluble. So, the answer is thiamine, that is, vitamin B1 is soluble in water. Which one is more stable? Option A, the water soluble vitamins, or option B, the fat soluble vitamins? The answer is fat soluble vitamins the water soluble vitamins can be destroyed by exposure to air uv that is ultraviolet rays lights water then ph change in ph can also destroy the water soluble vitamins then heat then food preparation techniques this all can uh, degrade the water soluble vitamins comparing to the water soluble vitamins the fat soluble vitamins are more stable next question is a lack of vitamin b1 that is thiamine may cause one of the following deficiency diseases which one which deficiency is caused to by lack of vitamin b1 which disease is caused to due to the lack of vitamin B1? Option A, Beriberi. Option B, Pellagra. Option C, Anemia. And option D, Scurvy. The answer is option A, Beriberi. Beriberi is the deficiency disease caused due to the lack of vitamin B1. Then what is this Pellagra? Pellagra is the a disease, a deficiency disease caused due to the lack of niacin or vitamin B3 and anemia. Anemia is mainly, uh, it is due to the lack of blood cells, uh, lack of healthy blood cells and it is most common anemia is iron deficiency. It's due to iron deficiency. And what is this scurvy? Scurvy is due to, the, it's a deficiency disease caused by the lack of vitamin C. Next question is, the amount of calcium required per day in adults is? The amount of calcium required per day in adults is? Option A, 5 gram, 5 milligram. Option B, 50 milligram. Option C, 250 milligram. And option D, 500 milligram. 
the answer is option d 500 milligram the amount of calcium required per day in adults is 500 milligram next question is which one of the following nutrients is not present in beef option a fat option b carbohydrate option c protein and option D, iron. The answer is option B, carbohydrate. Carbohydrate is the nutrient which is not present in beef. Next question. This vitamin is needed to prevent a birth defect called spina bifida. The options are vitamin D, option B, vitamin A, option C, folate and option D, vitamin E. The answer is option C, folate. Folate is nothing but vitamin B9. This vitamin is needed to prevent the birth defect called spina bifida. Next question. Which vitamin is most likely to be lost from swimming beef if it is boiled for a long time? Option A, vitamin A. Option B, nicotinic acid. Nicotinic acid. Option C, vitamin C. And option D, vitamin D. The answer is option B, nicotinic acid. The option answer is option B, nicotinic acid. Nicotinic acid is vitamin B3, otherwise known as niacin. And this vitamin will be lost if we cook the beef or boil it for a long time. Next question is, which nutrients is lost in large amounts from rice during the milling process and lead to a deficiency disease in Asian countries for example that is option A riboflavin option B iron then option C thiamine and option D vitamin C the answer is option C thiamine or vitamin B1 vitamin B1 or thiamine will be lost during the milling process of rice and which will lead to deficiency called beriberi. Next question is, which one of the following vitamins is least affected by cooking and preparation? Options are option A, vitamin A, option B, the vitamin B group, option C, vitamin C and option D, vitamin D. The answer is vitamin D. Vitamin D is least affected by cooking and preparation. Why? In the first slide, we discussed that which vitamin E is stable. That is water-soluble vitamins or fat-soluble vitamins. On that, we said that the fat-soluble vitamins are more stable than water-soluble vitamins. Here, vitamin D is a fat-soluble vitamin. And it is more stable than vitamin A also. Vitamin A is also a fat soluble vitamin. Comparing vitamin A and D, D is more stable. And it is least affected by cooking and preparation. Next question is, which one of the following nutrients do adult women require in greater amounts than adult men? The options are option A, calcium, option B, protein, Option C, iron and option D, vitamin D. The answer is option C, iron. Iron is required in larger quantity to adult women than adult men. Next question is, which vitamin deficiency disease may be found in severe alcoholism? Option A, beriberi. Option B, rickets. Option C, pellagra and option D, syrophthalmia. 
The answer is Seroftalmia. Seroftalmia is a deficiency disease may be found in severe alcoholism because this is due to the deficiency of vitamin A and Seroftalmia is a condition of extreme dryness of the eyes and it is due to severe alcoholism. Next question is, which one of the following minerals is often added to water supply in order to help reduce the tooth decay? Options are option A, iodine, option B, fluorine, option C, chlorine and option D, potassium. The answer is fluorine. Fluorine helps to reduce tooth decay. Next question is, which one of the following vitamins provides a coenzyme for reduction reactions in fatty acid synthesis? Options are option A, folate, option B, niacin, option C, riboflavin, option D, thiamine and option E, vitamin B6. The answer is option B niacin the reduction reactions in fatty acid synthesis uses NADPH and it is a niacin derivative so the answer is niacin niacin is uh, provides a coenzyme for reduction reactions in fatty acid synthesis next question which one of the following vitamins provides the cofactor for hydroxylation reactions in collagen synthesis. Options are option A, biotin, option B, niacin, option C, riboflavin, option D, thiamine and option E, vitamin C. Which one of the following vitamin provides the cofactor for hydroxylation reaction in collagen synthesis? The answer is vitamin C. The lysine and proline hydrolases are involved in collagen synthesis which uses vitamin C as the cofactor. So the answer is vitamin C. Next question. Which vitamin is required for dim light vision? Options are option A vitamin A, option B vitamin D, Option C, vitamin E, then option D, vitamin K. The answer is option A, vitamin A. The reason is that retinaldehyde is required for vision in both dim and bright light. The answer is vitamin A. Next question, which vitamin is required for calcium absorption from the small intestine? Options are option A, vitamin A, option B, vitamin D, option C, vitamin E and option D, vitamin K. The answer is option B, vitamin D. Vitamin D stimulates calcium absorption from small intestine. Next question. Which vitamin is a major lipid soluble antioxidant in cell membrane? Lipid soluble antioxidant in cell membrane. Options are option A, vitamin A, option B, vitamin D, option C, vitamin E and option D, vitamin K. The answer is option C, vitamin E. Vitamin E is the major lipid soluble antioxidant in cell membranes. Other water soluble uh, antioxidant is vitamin C. Thank you for listening this video. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up, subscribe our channel, share with your friends and leave your valuable comments.